is this? <laughs> you guys know, right? You're right, Mr. Potter and Tabby. I hope you still like these stories because, look, I went to the library yesterday. The Islesford Library has just a few more. There's, okay, Mr. Putter and Tabby, make a wish. Mr. Putter and Tabby, turn the page. Mr. Putter and Tabby, smell the roses. Mr. Putter and Tabby, walk the dog. Right now I'm gonna start with Mr. Putter and Tabby, clear the decks. I like these guys, they feel like my friends and neighbors because I've read so many of these books. I hope you like the stories. If you don't, you just need to Call me up and tell me. Say, Grandma, you know what? Back off on Mr. Putter and Tabby. We're getting a little tired. But I don't think you'll say that because I think they're kind of fun little stories. And I can always read them and you can always look at something else and then maybe be in the mood for one later. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, here I am in my little book reading corner with, oh, look who's behind me. Some stuffies. Waiting to hear the story, too. Okay. Mr. Putter and Tabby clear the decks. What do you suppose that means? Chapter one, Itchy. Mm. Well, it was summer. <laughs> nice to read a book about summer because it's winter. Okay, but this one takes place. It was summer. And Mr. Putter and his fine cat Tabby were itchy. They were not itchy because of fleas. There was never a flea in Mr. Putter's house. They were itchy because they were bored. The days had become hot and long, and it seemed all they did was lie around and dream of orange sickles. They needed some adventure, and Mr. Putter always knew where adventure was. It was next door. Do you remember who lives next door? Chapter two, an idea. And you are right. It's Mrs. T-Berry lives next door with her good dog. Do you remember his name? You are right. Zeke. Zeke. The name starts with a Z for Zeke. Um, and they were very adventurous. I don't think Mrs. T-Berry ever gets bored. Let's see. Maybe they even say that. They took adventurous classes like diving. They ate adventurous foods like squid. They loved adventurous movies and they watched those all the time. So, Mr. Putter called Mrs. T-Berry and he said, Tabby and I are itchy. Oh dear, said Mrs. T-Berry, perhaps you need a flea bath. No, no, said Mr. Putter. We are bored. It's hot and the days are long and we have no orange sickles. You need an adventure, said Mrs. T-Berry. I have an idea. Mr. Putter was glad, sort of glad. Mrs. T-Berry's ideas sometimes took him to strange places. Chapter two, pepping up. Mrs. T-Berry and Zeke showed up at Mr. Putter's door. They had sunblock, sunglasses, and sun hats. Are we going in the sun, asked Mr. Putter. It was already so hot. Well, more sun didn't sound like fun to him. Don't worry, said Mrs. T-Berry. We're going on a boat, a sightseeing boat. Mr. Putter pepped up. A sightseeing boat, he said. I love sightseeing. I know, said Mrs. T-Berry with a smile. Sometimes Mrs. T-Berry was a genius. Chapter four, a boat. The sightseeing boat was named the Olden Days. Mr. Putter liked it right away because he and Tabby were both old. They liked being old. Mr. Putter was glad the boat was not named the Young and Zippy Days. 
Those were long behind him. Mr. Putter and Tabby and Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke stood at the very front of the bow. The wind blew in their faces. Seagulls flew by. They felt free. Free! Free orange sickles, said the captain. <laughs> Mr. Putter looked at Mrs. Teaberry. You are a genius, said Mr. Putter, and Mrs. Teaberry smiled. <laughs> look at Tabby. She doesn't look she doesn't look too sure about the boat. Chapter five. Another boat. At the end of the day, the sightseeing cruise was over. Mr. Putter and Tabby were ready to go home. But Zeke was not ready. He loved the olden days. He loved the wind and the water. Plus, everyone kept feeding him french fries. Zeke did not want to go home. He clamped on and clamped his teeth on a mast. Zeke would not let go. Mr. Putter tugged, Mrs. Teaberry tugged. Zeke would not let go. Then the captain came along. The captain knew what it was like to love a boat. He knew how to talk to Zeke. He sat down. And he told Zeke many things, and Zeke listened. Then the captain pulled a dog toy from his pocket. It looked like a boat. To take the boat, Zeke would have to let go of the mast, and Zeke wanted that little boat. He let go of the mast. Hooray, everyone said. They all went home happy. Mr. Putter and Tabby took a nap, and Mrs. Teaberry took a bath. And Zeke sailed his boat. And that is the end of that story. Oh, look at the last page. Well, nice to know that those summer days will be coming up again. We have to wait a few months, but they'll be back. And we'll all be probably running around the island together. Love you guys. Mwah.